Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are doing our sinking funds and transaction log for the month of May. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have a bunch of our spreads already set up for May. We have our calendar, we have our savings tracker, our dashboard, our variable income, our May budget. We're going to be doing our weekly check-in and weekly balance. And then of course, as always, we have our sinking funds and our transaction log. We're going to dive in. The planner that I have here is the Erin Condren monthly planner. It is in the 7x9 size. This is also in the color blends design with like the the ombre the beautiful ombre colors and the sheet that i have here is my sinking funds and transaction log there should be another washi that i have for myself i do i have an extra washi that was like just from scrap paper that i was able to get printed for myself and then also um if you guys have seen i am now using these cute little charms this little butterfly one to kind of bookmark where my monthly is and then also i have this bow bear one for my saveopoly because i feel like every weekly check-in i'm always like flipping through all the pages because i never remember where it is but i am using this as my little bookmark and it's so cute if you guys have watched my new releases then you guys would have seen these oh my gosh i'm really excited though i'm really anxious about it um, at the same time since like i've never released anything other than stickers before so it i do only have like <laughs> two or three of each color and stuff but i just wanted to see how it goes before i like spend my time putting together like a bunch of them because they are a bit time consuming but um yeah anyway <laughs> but i'm very excited for it but anyway so let's go ahead and lay down these sinking funds so far as sinking funds i feel like i never talk about what they are but for me i have these sinking funds as like additional categories to save for and they're not so much like a gold amount like for example um if we want to save for like a bike or or if we want to save for like a specific gold item or like a new bag or anything like that I don't have sticky funds set up like that. I do have it, however, set up in a way where they're just running categories every single month. I can pull from, add whatever I need to add. Every month, it always varies how much I add to them depending on how much I spent the previous month. But they're essentially just other categories that are just like random or they're not monthly things that I always know that we'll spend from. For example... We have um, household as one. We don't buy household things every month. Same with easy pass or same with clothing. Things like categories like that we don't always pull from. Same with like our pup's food. I realize I am autopiloting and setting this up like I do my monthly uh, budget with me. So I need to fix this. But... Um, essentially, this is just categories that I can randomly pull from every single month and then just replenish need be. Like gifts and treating, for example, you guys know is one that is highly used from us. I feel like we definitely use that category every single month. So we are going to have to replenish that because I think it's in the negatives, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but let's see. All right, so our sticky funds spread is now down. So we're gonna write, I'm gonna actually write the categories and stuff with you guys after I draw these lines real quick. And the pen that I have with me is a Muji pen. This is in the 0.38. All right, so I have all of my lines down. We'll do the sinking, the transaction log next. I just went and took a picture of my sinking funds so I can transfer the numbers over. But this blue matches the April spread so nicely. I do have other colors. Like, I should probably switch this, um, this butterfly out for maybe like a white or a pink to match this. But I just really like blue. So we're just going to go with that. Now let's talk about the different categories. All right, so we're gonna go right in. First one is car insurance. Car insurance, it actually comes out this month too. Um, I don't know what day though. My husband's usually the one that keeps track of the due dates and I keep track of the budget. 
but the starting one for May, this is 6,000, oh my god, 6,000, I wish 6,000, but it is $632, and what we're going to add to this one is we're going to add $75, I think this should be enough because it comes out every six months, but let's see, next we have sewer and water, sewer and water also comes out quarterly, but both the sewer and the water comes out at random days. So we have $75 in here, and I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add $90 in this one, just in case. Next, we have Christmas. Christmas, we currently have $300 in here, and I'm actually going to start adding $20 in here for now to see, um, because I think I should have started a couple months ago, but I kind of kept forgetting about it. But at least we still already have $300 in there from last year. So we have Pups Medical. For Pups Medical, we are starting with $300. And I think I'm going to just leave that alone for Pups Medical as well. Then for our medical, for our medical, we have a starting amount of $265. And I think we are okay with this. Let me just add... $30 just in case because I believe we had a medical bill last month so I don't know if there's anything else coming from this month but that's just there then we have baby I spelled ba baby okay so I corrected that so baby we are actually negative because we bought like a butt ton of diapers <laughs> butt ton for diapers that's funny excuse the pun but that is a 60 dollars that we are negative so i definitely do want to add a good amount in here but i don't know how much leftovers we can add so let's just see because we have budgeted to add 950 dollars okay sorry i'm back now i just had to pause and take a call from my auntie it was it was a really really nice talk it was really it was a really nice talk Let's just say there was a lot of tears on my side <laughs> but uh, let's just go ahead and continue we have the babies category next we have car maintenance car maintenance we used oh my gosh that's right we did use a good bit last month so we had 102 dollars that we ended the month with and i hope that nothing else occurs this month so let's just add like 40 dollars in here Next, let's have a gifts and treating. Gifts and treating, we're actually negative again. So this is the only other category that we're negative for the month. So this one is a negative by $31. So I'm going to leave this here to see how much we can split between the two at the end. Then we have household. And I don't remember if I actually got around to talking about this or not, but it's because um, our set budget for the month is $950 for sinking funds. So we have to split $950 between all of these subcategories. But for household, we are starting with $193. And uh, I don't think I'm going to add anything in here. We are really good on toilet paper, paper towels, like things like that. So I don't think we need to add anything. We did spend some money already, I know, because we did buy, I needed some more pads because I'm on my period, maybe TMI, but, and I, we also had to get some toothpaste too, but that came out of this, but that's, sh like, it should still be fine. Then we have dates, and again, we have not used this yet. We might just use this for, like, food or something because we just, food is our dates anyway that we like to do, so maybe we'll splurge on some really yummy food. So dates, then we have home. For home, we have 300 and I'll leave it like this too because I don't really know if there's anything coming out, like water filters, home filters, like, and even if it does, I, 300 is definitely enough for those. Next, let's go ahead and do clothes. For clothes, we have $153. So for $153, I think we'll add $50 in here because we might use it. Then we have Pups Food. For Pups Food, we have $151. I don't know how good we are on kibble, so I'll just put $20 in here for this. And then Pups Miscellaneous. I feel like I used to use this category, but we haven't touched this category in a 
really long time it feels like so we're not going to add anything in here next we have costco and i know we have groceries this costco was originally for like the costco renewal membership but it kind of just kept growing because sometimes when we bulk up i i thought it was nice to have like a little bit of a cushion here if we needed to pull from this category but there's 200 dollars in there then we have easy pass for easy pass we currently have 60 dollars, which is a really good amount then we have the office category for office we have currently 85 dollars. i think we're going to add 25 dollars in here i think that's good then we have a beauty for the beauty category we have 212 dollars in here we're not going to add anything i think that's a really good amount then last but not least we have unbudgeted for unbudgeted we have 307 dollars so let's see what else we will add unbudgeted is kind of like our unexpected or unbudgeted items that we just don't foresee yet so this is kind of like a cushion so if something comes out it doesn't fit any of the categories we can take it out of unbudgeted like the one month we had a dentist expense medical ran out of money so i ended up pulling it out of unbudgeted their remaining funds it's kind of like my cushion so i don't have to touch savings but that is there now let's go ahead and add up all of our starting amounts and then also all of our what we're adding so far so the total that we're starting the month of may with for sinking funds is three thousand five hundred seventy four dollars but then we are also adding so our budget for may we talked about is 950 that is what we are going to be adding to our may sinking funds now let's add all of this up to see what we have so far. We have 75 plus 90 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 50 plus 20 plus 25 equals 350. That minus the 950 that we have budgeted is an extra 600. So let's put... I know we still have to save for Saveopoly as well, so I think I'm going to put a larger chunk in Unbudgeted so we can take it just all out of Unbudgeted. So we have the baby. Well, let's put $200 in here. And then let's do $200 for gifts and treating. Actually, let's do $250 because we are going to be going to Philadelphia at some point this month. So I want to be able to have the extra funds for that. So that means, if you hear my daughter in the background, so that means 600 minus the 200 minus the 250 means we still have $150 that we'll just put in, say, in our unbudgeted. So let's add this all up again together. Alright, so the total is now 950. I realize I haven't been tilting this, but the total adding all of this up for our additions for our singing funds is 950. So that is perfect. That is what we have budgeted for the month to add to sinking funds. So now our sinking funds look good. So last but not least, let's go ahead and set up our transaction log. You guys hear her behind me. I love when she makes that noise. All of the noises that she makes, I'm literally in awe with. I love them so much. Um, the only one I don't like is the screaming, crying one, but everything else can give me a run for my money. But okay, so transaction log. And I did this last month of using like a thick washi, and I just like figured since I have some scrap paper too to do another one, I figured I might as well just do it so um, but before though you guys already know the washi that's in the kit I would just like use like a thin washi to trace it like let's do like for this one for example that's how I would do it but we are here and this is looking really cute so we have this and I'm going to take one of the weekly check-in ones since I only use one strip for these ones and I'm going to put this at the very bottom just to line it so it kind of like closes it off let me draw the lines real quick and I'll be right back all 
Alrighty, so my lines are now down for my transaction log. This is what the spread looks like so far, and this is how everything looks together so far. And I, I think what is it? These two, and I will do the weekly check-ins. Those that video for the weekly check-ins should be coming next week, so those will be set up together on camera. Of course, I still need to do my pre-budget. There's, I think, for the pre-budget, honestly, I might end up setting up the weekly balance sheet with you guys in the pre-budget video. So, um. I'm not really sure. Again, it's going to be the first time I'm doing those, so we'll just have to see how that turns out. But yeah, so that is actually going to be it for this video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I really, um, I keep closing it because I love the way it looks with the bow. Oh, it's so cute. But I hope that you guys did enjoy it as well. I know that my seeking fun videos are always rather short, but I do hope that you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you guys so much as always for tuning in and thank you guys always so much for all of your support and I hope that you guys have an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!